Hi everyone, welcome to the Earth Science Regents Review podcast series, Creative Bahamics Middle School of Earth Science Department. Today we're going to focus our attention on weather instruments. This is going to be a pretty quick podcast, but the instruments that we're going to mention today tend to pop up on Regents exams uh, on a pretty frequent basis. And these instruments are also going to help meteorologists make a weather forecast that much more accurate. The first is kind of the obvious one, that's going to be your thermometer. Thermometers are going to measure the temperature outside, and out of your reference table, you're going to have three scales, Fahrenheit, Celsius, and Kelvin. Make sure you know how to convert from one to the other. Meteorologists use sling psychrometers. Now, these sling psychrometers are going to help measure not only dew point, but also relative humidity. Again, you have a couple charts in your reference table you need to know how to use. Sling psychrometers have two thermometers on them. One measures what's called the dry bulb, the outside temperature. The other thermometer has a little sock on it that you wet. You spin the sling psychrometer around, measures the amount of evaporation in the air. The more evaporation that you have, the drier the air. The less evaporation you have, the more humid the air. And that's going to tell us a little bit about the moisture in the atmosphere. Dew points a degree Celsius, relative humidity is a percentage. Meteorologists also use barometers. Barometers are going to measure the amount of atmospheric pressure above us. Low atmospheric pressure gives us really rainy weather, a lot of precipitation. High atmospheric pressure is going to give us really nice weather, very dry weather. Atmospheric pressure in your reference table measured with two scales, millibars and inches of mercury. Make sure you know how to do those conversions as well. Anemometer. This is going to measure wind speed. You know, those little cups spin around. The faster they spin around, the faster the wind speed. Remember, you're going to have two scales. Sometimes you might see a station model with miles per hour with wind speed. Most likely, out of your reference table especially, you're going to see your wind speed in knots per hour. Meteorologists use weather vanes or wind vanes to determine wind direction. Now, wind direction obviously is going to be north, south, east, and west. Just keep in mind, winds are named from the direction in which they come from. And finally, a rain gauge. Now, rain gauges are going to be used to measure the amount of precipitation. There's a lot of different units that can be used here. Inches and centimeters are two of the more common ones that are going to be used. So meteorologists can use a rain gauge to determine the amount of precipitation from a storm. So that's it for now for weather instruments. Good luck on your next exam.